What's up you guys? So this is going to be a really quick introduction. I kind of stopped doing this like showing the hair prior to um, me making a wig because I just felt like it's just packaging. You guys all know that it looks the same. It's in a plastic bag etc etc. This time around I had to show this because when I opened it up I was like <sighs> what is going on so this company called Wiggins sent me some hair to review and this is the box that your hair will come in I was so freaking impressed you guys that I had to show you it's like a present and in here is a letter um, a card of love it says so pretty beautiful life forever love it says, little things like this mean a lot to me like seriously like I get wig videos or you know request a lot so I just find like when you do little things like this it just really touches me and it means a lot so yes so this time around I got some of their virgin Brazilian body wave in 220 inch 222 inches a 20 18 and a 16 inch lace closure I got some flexi rods right here um green ones and here goes the hair okay so the box is such a nice touch and the hair is so professionally packaged okay so I had to show you guys this all right you get a brochure or a pamphlet and it just says 100% human hair unprocessed and here we go so I like the fact that they have tags on their hair and their bundles from the looks of them look really healthy I'm not gonna take them out because I'm gonna do that as I wash it and I want you guys to know what it looks like but just from looking at it through the plastic they look like they're in good shape they are double wefted but we really won't know the truth until afterwards it says on their cards 20 years of business brand business which is a long time for some hair you guys there might be a whole bunch of bald-headed women walking around wherever this came from okay I'm just saying, I'm just saying. I wanted to show you that. So now let's get on to the finished video, okay? Finally done with this unit. I have been so busy, like really busy doing videos, making custom wigs, making wigs, all kind of things. So yes, I know this company is probably really happy that I'm finally done with this wig, but let me tell y'all, they got some superb packaging and I'm also really appreciative that they are so patient. You guys know I did go ahead and make it into a wig and I just made it into a regular unit. I did layer a little bit in the front because you know you want them face framing layers, girls. But other than that, I really didn't have to do too much but wash it, curl it, style it cut it yeah so I did do enough to it combs three combs in my unit and I always use the spandex dome cap I got some makeup right here on my actual lace um on my lace closure this time around though I decided to go with the color creamy beige by the pro conceal or LA girls pro conceal I wanted to see how that worked and the name of course that I write for that particular hair company in the cap and these are just um, material pens. You can get these at Walmart. They actually don't wash off. So this is written on to the cap prior to the hair installation. So these are really great. I went ahead. I did style the hair prior to curling it. I did use my um, Aussie styling mousse in the stage three which is two times the volume i'll go ahead and i will dampen the hair a little bit with that and brush it thoroughly and then i'll curl that keeps all the flyaways contained that keeps the curls contained and i also do put clips in the curls to keep them um but other than that yeah then once i'm done totally curling it i'll use my favorite instant freeze by aussie and that's that so yes girls if you are interested in seeing how this wig looks then stay tuned for the rest of this video because we about to get into it okay Your body 
really really pretty so let's just talk about it besides this the packaging they have some nice ass hair like seriously so it did shed a little bit um I think it shed the most when I thought it was shedding when I was tweezing the hair and then you know I tweeze the hair while it's wet like I tweeze the closure when it's wet so if you haven't seen my video it is on my channel hopefully I remember to post the link to a direct link but how I tweeze my closures or frontals is I wash the hair when it's already made you know what I'm saying and once I put the conditioner in it of course you have to let the conditioner sit in for a few minutes so that is when I take the opportunity to tweeze it and part it so I'll make the part that I want while the hair is wet and has conditioner in it that is the best time to put a part in your hair okay especially when it comes to doing a wig because that is when you kind of like train the hair you don't have to put all those products in hair like you see a lot of people do they'll put some hairspray or some styling mousse or some whatever they put in the hair and then they'll press it down with a flat iron and then they'll put the scarf on that's just doing the most that's doing like the utmost and I don't really have time for all of that so whenever I put a part in my wig it's always when the hair is washed when I wash it so I have my mannequin head I put my wig on there I wash it I put the conditioner in it I brush it through the, through the hair with one of these brushes and then while the conditioner is sitting in the hair is the opportunity I take to take my rat tail comb I love these, especially the metal ones, because these give the best parts, whether it's curved or straight or zigzag or whatever you want, best parts. And that is when I part it, and that is when I take my tweezers and I tweeze in a part, a little bit wider part. The best time to do it is when it's wet because the hair is a little bit looser on the closure, so it comes out a lot easier, opposed to when it's dry and you gotta constantly like pull and drag and pull and snag at the closure. So the best time to do it is when it's wet. Well, other than that, the hair curls so nice. Like, it's kinda, it's all the bundles, every last four bundles, and when I have it on my shoulder, it feels like, heavy and not heavy in is a bad way like oh my god my neck is gonna snap but it feels like you have hair it's just nice and full and all I did was use my wand curler um, my barrel wand curler by Numi and which is I think it was like two inch and that's it I just wrapped it around and let it come out like this other than that the hair is gorgeous on a threshold of one to ten I would give this hair like them a ten Wiggins did a bomb ass job with their hair so I would definitely give them a ten by far this hair is absolutely gorgeous um I love the way it took to a curl the closure was nice and full you know what I mean it was a little lined up in the front but I'm not really always worried about that because I just take out a little bit of my own hair and I hooks it up okay hooks it up so for the most part they did an absolutely amazing job on the hair I was very very pleased with it and you know because my edges are thin and it's normally thin right here that's when my topic comes into play I love this stuff of course there are different brands so it doesn't have to be actually topic very light pumps very light pumps when going to the edges of the front hairline because you don't want it too thick and you don't want to disperse a whole lot but I absolutely love these products because it just helps it looks just like tiny little hair follicles and then of course I always use my Aussie which I 
just recommends everybody like this is the best hairspray to me in the world so yes you guys you can check out wiggins i will post all their info below along with the specs of this hair and as always if you want a wig made by your girl you can always check my website out which is also going to be listed for you guys below which is going with the winwigs.webly.com you can get custom wigs and also i do carry in stock wigs which are video units they do sell out fast so if you see them saying sold out i do apologize but i do stock regularly on a weekly basis so other than that you guys i hope you've enjoyed this video tutorial and i hope you guys have a great day stay diva and delicious as always make sure you rate comment subscribe i love you guys and i'll see you all in a soon to come video bye